ePilots and Copilots. Today we're in KPDX, we're in Portland, and we have the Boeing 737-900, the uh, brand new freeware model that uh, I did a review of a little while ago and had a great time flying that, and mostly did it without incident. I'm just having a little bit of fun tonight. I'm going to fly up to Vancouver in mid-evening. It should probably be just about dusk, night time by the time we arrive. We're going to, it shouldn't take too long, probably less than an hour in total from end to end. I'll edit the video down so you don't have to sit through the whole thing. We'll uh, do the programming up. We'll do the takeoff. We'll get up to cruise. Then I'll uh, do a montage of some interesting bits. And then we'll do an approach down into Vancouver and land. It'll only be my third time flying this plane. It'll be, it'll be my first time flying an X-plane for about two or three weeks. Uh, life's been a bit busy. So uh, finally found some time to give X-plane some love. So we're going to get up there and have a go. So in the cockpit we go to go and get programmed up. So we're in the cockpit here, and it's uh, I still love the, <laughs> the flight sim has come so far, really. I mean, look at this. It, it just looks awesome, doesn't it? You know, when you sit in your cockpit, the evening sun is reflecting off the building. You've got the lighting looks great in here. The detail in the cockpit is wonderful. I just love flight sim these days. So I'm going to uh, get things going. Actually, first of all, let's go and uh, figure a route to go first. So very quickly here, I've got the output from Simbrief, and uh, I'm just going to look at this. I have a cost index of seven. These are things I'll need later. We have a uh, average wind direction is 193, wind speed 045. Um, our takeoff weight is going to be 161,000 pounds, and we're going to need 12,300 block fuel. Um, our route is going to be runway 28 left. We're taking off from direct to BTG, Jetway 1, SEA, direct to PAE, direct to CYVR, runway 31. But we'll see about that. I bet we won't be that when we get there. We'll tune into ATIS on the way and we'll adjust our approach accordingly. Uh, let's have a look over here. Take off, top of climb. So it's only going to be about minus 30 top of climb. And if we look, we're only going to be reaching 26,000 feet based on our heavy load and our short distance. There's no point us getting any taller. CYQQ, which is Comox up on Vancouver Island, is our alternative if the weather is bad at CYVR. But uh, looking outside right now and knowing what Vancouver's like, we're going to be absolutely fine for our approach. So I'll just show you in Sky Vector that mapped out on the route so you can visualize it and then we'll program up. So over in Sky Vector here, this is our planned route for tonight. We're coming out of Portland. Straight up, we'll be flying over the top of Seattle. So hopefully we'll get some clear weather through the clouds so we can look down on KSEA as we fly above it at probably 26,000 feet. And we'll be coming up over Everett there. And then we'll be heading in towards Vancouver. And hopefully around here, we'll be able to find out what our approach will be and work out which direction we'll be coming on the runway. Uh, some pretty rough weather out here. What's this? convective okay so there's some so there's some weather going on there yeah some nasty weather down there but i think we're going to be all right flying out of portland so let's get programmed up and in the air so back in the cockpit let's go and get ourselves online shall we battery on portland intl Oop. information whiskey 100 zulu weather Wind let's just have a listen variable. visibility more than 10 Sky conditions 5,000 scattered, 12,500 few, 15,000 broken, temperature 22, dew point minus 2, altimeter 2992. Arriving runways 28 right, 28 left, 03, departing runways 28 right, 28 left, 03. Advise on initial contact you have whiskey. Let's turn that off. Right, so the weather's looking pretty good for flying out of here. So while I was doing there, while we were doing that, I was just getting some power on, turned ground power on. Um, set my, you know, smoking and fast sun seatbelts to auto. And up here I came up and turned on the align for both IRSs. So they should, they're set to quick align right now. I've got that set up on the Zebo mod here. And we'll be doing the rest of it right now. I've already put power on. 
let's go and set up our FMC. Let's have a look. Yep, we need to get that all set up. Actually, one thing I'm going to do here, because this always defaults to the ground being the uh, ground, the undercarriage being up. So we want to make sure that's down and on the ground. That should be how that's set up. Although it won't collapse under you when it's up, because it there's uh, some little security things in there that stop that happening. That's really not cool. So let's get this programmed. So before I do that, I'm going to get my bag baggage cart. I'll have our catering trucks as well. I'll open our door there. Cargo doors. I'm not sure which I need. There we go. They're open. I close that down. I'm just going to go to advanced here. Um, I'll do. I'm not sure I can do the. I can do the fuel here. So I'm just. I'll set that in a minute. Let's go back. Can I do back? There we go. I want to do. I'm going to start loading my cargo. I'm going to go back. Fuel and TFG. Oh, that sounds like they're really loading. Uh, so we're at 14 on that. Our payload, let's just flick over. 36.7, let's have a look at that. Does it tell us on here what our payload is going to be? It's got our maximum takeoff weight. It's going to be a hundred and it's one hundred and forty-nine. Uh, for a few weight, and one hundred and sixty-one. Can I adjust that? How do I do that? Let's make that, what happens if we make that about 60? I'm just trying to guesstimate this. That means our takeoff weight is going to be 165. That's higher. So let's make that 45. Nope. 55, sorry. I obviously don't do math very well right now. That'll do. Menu, okay. FMC, position in it. We are at KPDX. Can't remember what gate I'm at, it's not important. Put that in. Yep, we're good, look at that. Our FMC position, both our IRS is left and right are programmed with the GPS information. We're good. Okay, routing. So we are K P D X. Feel free to skip ahead in the video if this is not the exciting bit for you. And we are going to C Y V R Vancouver. And uh, I don't need to put in that. Don't need to put in that. Runway is twenty eight left. Right. Actually, let's set a departure on there. 28 left. Do we have a departure on here? Direct to BTG. No, we don't. Okay. Let's go back to the route. And we're going to go to, did I say BTG, which I think is a battleground. VOR. And we're going to go, I think it was J1. To S E A, maybe? He's just trying to guess. Battleground, J1 S E A, direct to P A E. And I'll put that in. Oh, good if I could find the P. P A E. Pain, that's us. Pain Airfield. And then. Right now we're doing a seaway via yeah, arrival. I'll put it in. I see you there, you're RNAV 31. There's no way we'll be doing that. 
You know what? I'm not even going to put that in. Nope. I'm going to activate the root as it is. Whatever. I'm going to join those up. Invalid entry. Okay. Let's clear that. I'm just going to delete that. And delete. Can I do that? Bare legs. I don't really want that to stay on there, so, but it'll do for now. It's not what we're going to do, okay? So don't worry. Go back to this. Your weight is in there. Reserves of four, but that's a lie. Cost index was seven. Flight altitude is going to be 260. Okay, we have our cruise wind. Do you remember what that is? I don't. Let's go look, shall we? Up here, 193 slash 045. So 193 slash 45. Put that in there. Uh, the outside air temperature at top of climb was minus 30C. Remember that? We looked that up earlier. Right. In one limit. The outside air temperature right now, I'm going to choose, I say 21 degrees. It's warm out there. It's a warm early summer evening. When, uh, nearly made a mistake again because it's on the other side of this slash. Put a slash in there, 21C. Okay, take off. We'll have a flaps 5 takeoff. Thank you very much. I actually don't know what the CG is going to be. Central gravity, usually it generates 8 up. Verified takeoff speed, 7.89. We need that. Okay, our takeoff speed, 154 for V2. That's pretty fast. And 7.89. Everything's starting to come together. So we're going to look down here. Five, six, seven point eight nine, that's near enough. Yep. There we go. We'll put in one fifty four on here. Sorry, I'm jumping around a bit on the view. Sounds like they're really busy loading stuff up. Okay, we'll carry on doing that in a second. What I'm gonna do here just for a second. Get the APU running. We need to get some air on board soon anyway. Oh, we've done that. Right, I'll turn my flight directors on. I'll get auto throttle armed. Ready for later. I'm just going to switch this back over and listen to eight latest. Information X ray. One hundred Zulu weather. Wind light and variable. Visibility more than ten. Sky conditions 12,500 few, 15,000 broken, temperature 20, dew point minus 4, altimeter 2994, arriving runways 28 right, 28 left, 03, departing runways 28 right, 28 left, 03, advise on initial contact you have x-ray. Right, let's just let that go around again. Um, you know what I've got to do? Close all my hatches. If, for those of you that watched my last video, did you know if you leave these on, you can take off with everything hand off the side? It's hilarious. Don't do it. 100 Zulu weather. Wind light and variable. Visibility more than 10. Sky conditions 12,500 few. 15,000 broken. Temperature 20. Dew point minus 4. Altimeter 2994. 2994, okay. Arriving runways 28 right, 28 left, 03. Departing runways 28 right, 2994. Advise on initial contact, you have X ray. Okay. So now we'll switch to AP power. 
And let's get the rest set up. I'm going to turn my fuel pumps on ready for when I start the engines in a minute. My your damper on. Cabin utilities are on. My window heat on so we don't fog up. Although that's unlikely. It's extremely warm outside. Heat my probes. Trim air on. They're on. APU bleed. I'll put dual bleed on for now. Our flight altitude today is going to be 26,000 feet. And thank you for sticking with me through this bit, those of you that are watching. I will put my pumps on because we're going to get the engine started in just a minute and we'll be getting ready for pushback. Actually, I should have that on because I have the APU running. I think you're supposed to have that on when that's happening. One people, it's an active aircraft. Let's go back down to here. Start my flight there. I just get the door shut. We can start getting ready to actually get the flight going. Oh, isn't that nice? They're getting ready. Oh, my fans are on. That is on, on, on. Thank you. Anyway, I think we're ready almost for pushback, aren't we? Master caution. Yep, I'm getting pretty happy with this. Ground cockpit. Please show me where you want to go. Ah, uh, you know what? I don't know. Uh, bring a map up first. We're here. We have got to take off from 28 left. Ugh. I really want to take off from 28 right. But I've put 28 left in, haven't I? So we've got to go across here, down there. Okay, so we're going to pull back around that way. Okay. Ground cockpit. Please show me where you want to go. I'm going to go that way. Use my mouse wheel here to twist this around. The better pushback plug in. Done. He's going to come up. Ground to cockpit. Toe is driving up. I think I should withdraw the. Uh, um. That's it. That's withdrawing now. What do you call that thing? God, I'm having a brain fart tonight. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, so our brake is on. It's already looking a bit dark out there. Let's ignore the fact he came out the brick wall. Okay, set that to RTO for reject rejected takeoff. Those are on ready. Ultra throttle is on ready. We've set our altimeter. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. Thank you. This looks good. How's everyone doing out there tonight, eh? Just coming along for a nice flight. I'm glad. I lost my flying mojo a bit recently, but I got it back for now, so that's nice. He's just connecting up. Let's have a look outside. So let's let's see what we can see outside, shall we? Okay, parking brake released. Starting pushback, and you may start engines. Okay, I'd better get on with that. So let's start the engine. And it packs off, so we have enough pressure. There we are. Pressure's coming up to start the engines. I'm gonna start right engine. Back we go. Well, we just see it starting to spin up as we get pushed around. Doesn't this look great? We'll be getting to pretty much, there we go, just over 20%. That's 25. That makes me happy.
and our speed on the other engine will come up now. That one's just starting to spin up as well. Back we come. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nearly there. Nice. There we are. Both are running. Switch to cont. Switch over our generators to the main engines. Okay, we can turn off our APU bleed now. We're now just running on the bleeds from the engine and I can actually shut the APU down. So let's start to power down. I'll turn my packs back on. Operation complete. Set parking brake. Okay. Parking brake is set. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. Okay, thank you. That's just worth looking on map and work out where we are. So we have to come up here. Along here and all the way down here and through the wonders of television or at least through the wonders of YouTube you will not have to do the whole thing with me I will edit that somewhat a little bit of cloud in the sky this evening gonna be probably landing in the dark tonight I actually quite like a nighttime landing so final thing to do is turn our Taxi lights on. Hope I'm not blinding the guy. Disconnecting too much. Oh, it's disconnected. Our bypass then has been removed. Hand signal on the left. We'll see you next time and have a safe flight. Thank you. Let's just play a welcome message, shall we? You can listen at the back there. There we go. I'm busy telling me. Uh, I didn't check. Oh yeah, he's out there. Hands in the air. We're good to go. Okay. Brakes off. Small amount of throttle. And away we go. They're heavy today. I've got to remember that in all my movements. Just work it on the map so it's not the first turning it's not this one here it's the second one apparently you just have to keep an eye out for that don't want to get too much speed here i don't want there i want the next one okay i see it here just coming off here let's ease up to that Around we go. Nice. Of course, this is the Mr. X6 scenery. Freeware scenery, KPDX. One of the best sceneries out there. All of his are great. I know he does payware ones now. When I finally have a bit of spare cash, I will probably buy one of them. I've never bought a scenery before, so that will be a new thing for me. But I figure he deserves some of my money. So we're coming up on turn to the left soon. Just make sure I get the right one. There's two choices, I guess. I could probably take this first one. No, nope, I'm going to take the second one. You convinced me. Bit of throttle that, so we don't, don't stall out in the corner. We're doing 19 knots. It's actually slightly faster. Apparently, I think you're supposed to do about something like 12 when you're doing a turn. Only correct me if I'm wrong. 
any problem with this flight sim world you watch so many videos and you read so many things and we're all armchair experts but most of my stuff's hearsay and what I've heard other people tell me I like to think I'm doing enough to feel semi real I'm not a real pilot I always wanted to be that was going to be my dream as a kid I was going to go to a university that had a in the UK that had a flying school the Royal Air Force detached and I was going to go and be a jet fighter pilot and be a cool cool pilot and then about the age of uh, 16 when that was my plan for the future I just want to see from outside it's pretty cool this that was my plan for the future and then I went to a fairground and they had one of those this was a Harrier simulation like a GR5 or a GR7 Harrier flying through the Welsh mountains and you sat inside like a full 3d motion simulator Ooh, can't see where I'm going there um, and I sat in that thing and it threw us about and in actual fact the imagery was about three seconds out of step with the motion so I was uh, it was moving to the left when the plane was actually swinging to the right around the mountains and I found I couldn't look at the screen I just had to look at the ground for the whole entire time of this flight sim that was going on and I realized at that point I probably didn't have the guts for being a pilot but I couldn't stand the motion sickness of the aircraft so I actually went and chose something safe and decided to go computer science at a different university and gave up on my ideas of flight and then much older once I got married and moved to Canada and I discovered that I absolutely love flight through flight sim and kind of regretted my decision but oh well we all make choices in life and to be honest, this is a pretty easy one, flight sim. I, as glorious as working a career and flying either military or general aviation, I can kind of see that it's not always wonderful. I just have to look long, hard hours, and it's not the glorious time we all assume it is. So I'm happy with my lot, I think. Well, that's... Oops, that's, why are there two runways here? What's going on? Okay, this is ours. This is us. Usually, my RAS talks to me and tells me I'm entering runway 28F, but nothing today. Okay, bit of a horrible evening sun to deal with. Okay, the one thing I haven't done while I've been gas bagging to you lot is getting my flaps down. So, landing lights are down. We turn our position light to strobe and steady. Although I don't have it programmed in, I will. <laughs> we're doing VFR, 1200, we're doing VFR and a 737 900. But anyway, my transponder is on. My landing lights are on. My flaps are now set and green at 5 degrees. Let's spool up our engines to 40%-ish. Check they spool up okay. We can just hear that. Maybe. I might have the sound down a little bit low, to be honest. Bring it up a little bit for you. Okay, we're just rolling. And I'm going to hit the button I've got set up for Toga. Here we go. Slight bit of forward stick pressure to keep the nose down for now. I'm going to eat 80 knots any second now. 80 knots. Thank you. Continue. We have a very high V1 speed today because of the weight and we Rotate. Rotate. Wow, that rate. Positive rate. Gear up. Four hundred. Where we go? One thousand. I'll start bringing. Ago. Okay. Okay, ATC are clearing us up to about 7,000.
Okay, let's put VNAV and LNAV on ready. And I am now going to... I want to look out the window. Right. Okay, our flaps all the way in. The gear is up. I'm going to lock it. I'm now going to hit the command button and let AT let, let ATC. I don't want ATC to fly it. Let uh, autopilot take over. So rejected takeoff switch there didn't flack flick back to off. I've now locked the landing gear. Let's just put this on to an RF there. It's already trying to get me to choose for the so we have uh let's have a look at this 109 nautical miles to top of descent we really don't have far to go and i'll leave the landing lights on for now let's have a look outside shall we well that's quite noisy now ease your sound down a bit goodbye portland that looks beautiful Sometimes I truly find uh, X-Plane and flight sims in general just to be awe inspiring. We've got a cloud level here as specified in, on ATIS. On today's flight I've remembered to not have any doors open and not have any ground equipment coming with me. Looks good. Through the clouds. Okay, it's already getting dark in here. Ooh, that's some weird lighting. That actually is quite realistic, if you ask me. When you're going through clouds and you've got that evening sun. Yeah, that's weird, but cool. I know Skymax Pro gets a lot of hate for not being great, but actually that's pretty damn good, I will say. That's, uh, that's uh, pretty damn good. Let's right, put some lighting there. It's just trying to figure some lighting. And we're going to need to do the ones up here as well. They're on cont, cont. We can probably turn the leg off. Nobody needs to see that. Landing lights. Yeah, well. Oh, engine's throttling down. Let's just check. Okay, we're at 250. Okay. Oh, I see we've leveled off. Pretty sure it didn't tell me 1,000 to go. Did I miss that? Okay, we're 26,000. ATC are clear. Let's straight up to 26. I'll just re-enable VNAV and that will take us up now. Up we go. Okay, we've got some panel lighting going on now. Having a look outside while we... Oh, I'll climb. It shouldn't take us long if we're only going to 26,000. Let's see. Yeah, our landing lights are causing a bit of... Let's turn those off. We'll be at 10,000 before long anyway. Let's go back outside and have a look. I just love the way you can actually see through this model. You can see the seats inside. How cool is that? And there's Portland disappearing behind us. Let's have a look at this side, shall we? Nice. Nice smooth air as well. Very little wind flats tonight. People being quite chatty, I can hear in the background in the cabin. Going on here then. Okay, we're climbing nicely. The 
clouds are absolutely beautiful. Like cotton wool. So we've got a tailwind. Well, that's a bit across us, but we've got a tailwind 38 knots right now, so that's favourable to us. That's very nice. Our engines just seem to be steady. I have nothing in our centre tank. Okay, so I can actually turn those pumps off. I don't think we're going to need wing anti-ice and engine anti-ice right now. Everything else on there looks good. We have our altitude set. I'm not going to kill anybody today. For those of you that have flown with me before, you'll know a trick of mine is to asphyxiate my passengers. Not my proudest moments, but uh, when you're up there and you've got lots of... Oops, hush. You know, hold on. There we go. I caught the wheel with my mouse as I was trying to scroll around the screen. Up we go. So there's a pretty heavy cloud layer coming up, so we'll probably disappear from... We won't be able to see the ground. I was kind of hoping we would. Just uh, zoom out a bit on this. There's top of climb coming up. Not too far away from that. It won't take long. Climbing at just over 2,000 feet per minute. We've got barely any distance to go. And he's gone out that far. But it is, it's a pretty quick flight tonight. Just wanted to get my hand back in. But yeah, we're in the clouds now. This is the only time I don't like uh, Skymax Pro weather, is when you move from the clouds, look, they zoom around and it. it's just not, not realistic and it's nauseating as well. Yeah, we're kind of in the sun, in the clouds, with the evening sun, it's a bit weird right now. So we're at 16,000 feet, we're at a steady 270 knots, we have a good tailwind of 43 knots, that's awesome, that will increase our speed and reduce our flight time. We've only got 76 nautical miles to top of descent. Right. And while we're doing this, I'm going to bring up charts for Vancouver on my ancient, ancient Android tablet here. Where I use Flight Plan Go. I use Flight Plan Legacy, FLT Plan Legacy, and that gives me all the charts I need for Canada and the US. And let's look at my airport diagram and bring up. Is it 124.6? I usually fly to Vancouver a lot, so I should know what ATIS is there. Pretty sure it's 124.6. While well, that's coming up, let's just bring. Yep, 124.6. Oh, and it's actually. Eh, I've been doing a bit of. Uh, the last time I was doing flying for this, I was on uh, flying between Portland and Vancouver anyway, so look at that. <laughs> I had both ATIS programmed in. So we'll just wait on that. It'll be a while before we hear any uh, information. Oh, mm -mm. And one thing to note here while I was talking about that. So we're, that's highlighted there. We have to click our standard button because we've gone past 18,000 feet. And over there as well. There we go. That sets it to standard, which is 2992. Barometric pressure. For those of us flying in North American airspace, I guess I should really read up on European flying. But with my accent and all. Could put the weather on, but I really don't think there's a lot of moisture in these clouds. We're now skimming above them. That's very nice. I think everything is pretty stable. I think we're going to reach top of climb and then immediately start descending. That's hilarious. I wonder if we're going to be able to get top of climb and top of descent on the same screen. Who knows? Anyway, I'm going to sit and watch the flight and you can watch it in fast forward.
So in the last few minutes we finally reached 26,000 feet. Now I can go back to here. I'm going to play my announcement. And if you can't hear it, let's go back here. Ladies and gentlemen, once again from the uh, flight deck, we'd level off now on our cruising altitude. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the fast and seat belt sign. I'd like to kindly ask if you are staying in your seats to keep those seat belts comfortably fast and for your safety. On board computer showing an on time arrival, no ATC delays either. We're going to stay quiet up here. Have you enjoyed the uh, flight and the service? Once again, welcome aboard. Oh, wasn't that nice? Oh, it just got a bit darker, suddenly. It was a little less uh, gradual than I would like, but never mind. 26,000 feet, 301 knots. Our ground speed is 489. We have a 51 knot tailwind, which is just brilliant. We should be coming up. We have 35 nautical miles to we're above Seattle. <laughs> and top of descent just before we even reach that must be calculating wrong because I was really hoping so let's do some programming right root next page oh it's going all the way to runway 31 so it is calculating that in but we've still got a pretty early descent I just really hope we find out soon what, what runway we're actually going to be going into. I guess those lights ahead are actually Seattle, aren't they? Pretty major airport, major runways, yeah. I can see the three of them lined up there, yeah. To the north, I guess, could be the start of the islands for Vancouver Island and all that. We should better see some mountains out here. Rainier is somewhere around there. Food. To the north of that will be Mount Baker. Right I can actually see Mount Baker from my lounge window, and it's over 110 miles as the crow flies from uh, my house to that. But it's amazing what you can see when things are really tall. So, if I think I can see something awesome when we're above Seattle, I will tune in and show you otherwise uh, you can skip ahead a little bit in the flight so I'll see you soon so I'm just starting my flight in towards uh, Vancouver here we haven't even quite reached KSEA flying above Seattle at the moment but let's have a look it was lovely clear skies and then as usual the X-plane Clouds jumped in at the last minute just to cover everything up, but there we go, right across the top, 26,000 feet. Lit up below, looks cool. Hello, Seattle. We're doing our turn. And we're starting our descent. As we can see, we're at 24,800. I wonder if I can get some more information. Let's go to menu, A cars, latest request. Let's do C, Y, V, R. This is pretty cool. End. VHF in progress. Get the ATIS. Okay. Okay, 11 gusting 17 from 110, 30 static miles, broken at 10,000, broken at 11,000, overcast at 17, 17 degrees, A2986. Okay. I wonder what runway we will be using. Again, my radio is tuned to 124.6. We're already descending, which is. That's surprising actually. Can't help but think that's a little early. But uh, what options do I have coming to CYVR? I can do. I can't. I can only do an R nav into runway 31. 
I'd really like to do an ILS approach. Being a lazy so-and-so. But real pilots have to do the real deal, don't they? Thank God I'm not a real pilot. Okay, we can do our nav 31. And I think we would come in at a veal. So let's program that up again, shall we? We can do this. If we. Me talking to thin air, but I know you'll all be there at some stage watching this. Right, let's go for departures and arrivals. I'll have 31. A veal. Exact. Okay, let's look at my legs. We're going to connect that up. Okay. The so PA is our next one. Okay. Pain. Airfield. 274. Okay. 11 nautical miles. And we'll get there. Now we're 62. 11. And we're descending. 20,000 feet. I'm sure we'll be leveling off soon. Okay, yeah, we're not far. 10, 10 nautical miles from PAE. We're still doing 270 knots, and with the 37 knot tailwind, it makes us, well, oh, our 371 on our ground speed's 408, so we're still screaming in. That's brilliant. Well, that'll be over before you know it. Sun's still above the horizon. Good, we're not quite in a night night flight yet. I mean, I know this isn't very realistic. Nobody would fly at 737, 900 on such a short flight, but I don't have all night to sit around right now. Don't know about you. Again, even the speed down, I haven't needed drag yet, so that's nice. Let's zoom out a bit here. If I turn this around to plan, I'll put that in a bit. We really are going to go pretty much straight in. I like that. I like that. That's good. So, what things do I need to know about for this RNAV approach? Looking at my charts here. Safe altitudes 12,800 from 100 nautical miles. Okay, so when we reach a veal, we're going to be at 3,000. Okay. It's going to be pretty seat the pants coming in. I could mess this up, everybody. But if I do, I will put it up on YouTube anyway. Because too many of us learn to fly, and we find this very stressful, and everybody else seems to do it so perfectly. But I'm there to remind us all, you can suck, but you've got to learn somehow. And we learn by doing. I'm just going to send this again. Atis. 2986. Okay. That's good. I can pick that and dial that down to 2986. And I should do the same over this side. Because unfortunately, my co pilot's pretty slack and he never seems to do anything. As you see the archipelago of all the islands around it. That's my luck. Did you hear that? As soon as I said you can see the islands, it went dark. <laughs> okay, imagine there's a whole bunch of islands out there and it's absolutely beautiful. But apparently, the weather has other ideas. That was hilarious. 
Tell you, that was that was flight sim comedy gold right there. Now I can hear rain. I didn't think it's supposed to be raining. Is that drag required? Ah, oh, drag required. But as we breaks out for a minute, then we can clear that off. Legs back on. Yeah, turn that off. Approach course is 305. I'll put that in here. I'll get ready for this approach. I'm pretty nervous about it, but we'll see. I am just trying to trust FMC that we're doing the correct descent path for this. Okay, and then keep taking us down. 305. There's no ILS on this runway. It is a short runway as well. I'm still kind of hoping. I hear from ATIS in a minute and it tells me something completely different as to what runway is active. Because right where I'll take a 26 left or a 26 right over this approach. I wonder if this is true for real pilots or whether they're all just supremely confident by this stage or whether they actually feel the oh crap moment when you've been given a completely unfavourable approach into an airport. It's not the one you wanted. I'm sure it does happen. Now I'm going to put my landing lights on early. Let's just have another look from outside. Down we come. That's Victoria. Is that Victoria? Must be. EYYJ. Twelve thousand feet. Can't be Victoria. We can't. We can't already be that. I am. Let's have. It. I'm cheating here. Actually, I know what I'm going to do. I haven't been using my X-plane map. I forgot I got this installed. We're actually about here. But yes, that is Victoria because. The airport is there, so we're we're up here somewhere. It's lagging today. You can actually, if I zoom out, you can see the flight we've been on. There. Uh, oh, huh? We're just still going through that cloud. So that is Victoria C Y Y J. And the cloud is, ugh. You know what? Let's just turn that off. It's just dazzling. That's not helping at all. We're at 11,000 feet. Still haven't heard from Atis. Come on. We'll be on the ground before I hear about where I should be going. I'm pretty sure I'd be able to tune in by now from this distance. Are they, oh, I guess maybe you don't, but ATC would certainly be routing me incorrectly anyway. Vancouver, oh, there we go. Information X ray. 200 Zulu weather. Wind 160 at 31. Okay, Jesus, strong wind. Sky condition 6,600 scattered, 8,600 few, 15,000 broken. Temperature 20, dew point minus 1. Altimeter 2992. Hmm. Arriving runway 26 left, departing runway 26 left. Advise on initial contact, you have X-ray. Okay. So. That's quickly. I'm not panicking, but I am slightly. Vancouver INTL information X-ray. 200 Zulu weather. Wind 160 at 31. Visibility 10. Sky condition 6,600 scattered. 8, I have no idea. Few, 15,000 broken. Temperature 20. Dew point minus 1. Altimeter 2991. Arriving runway 26 left. Departing runway 26 left. Advise on initial contact. I'm trying to you rescue this. Let's 
try and join this up and see where we go. Okay, exec. Just checking. Vancouver INTL information X ray. 200 Zulu weather. Wind 160 at 31. Visibility 10. Sky condition 6600 scattered. 8600 few. 15,000 broken. Temperature 20. Dew point minus 1. Altimeter 2991. Arriving runway 26 left. All right, let's see what's Departing going on here. 26 left. Advise on initial contact. You have X-ray. So I can probably delete Egret. Sure. And go straight to Ovbin. Okay. Just trying to use the map to work it way. Vancouver away. INTL information X-ray. 200 Zulu weather. Wind 160 at 31. Visibility more than 10. Sky condition 7200 broken. Temperature 20. 2.4. Altimeter 2988. There we go. Arriving I got rid of those extra legs. Left. I just Departing sent us straight to Ovbin. It'll handle it now. Initial contact, you have X -ray. Yes, shut up now. Desperately wanting ATIS. Now I desperately just want it to go away. You know what? I'm going to have to pause this flight. You won't notice any difference, but I'm going to go and walk my dog. She's going to be standing at the front door cross-legged right now. So for you, it's as if a minute's happened. For me, I'll be back in 20 minutes. There, that was no time at all for you. And down we come. 10,400 feet. Although, why have we leveled off? Oh, is that our... Okay. Okay, yeah, we're adjusting our approach slightly. Suddenly we're not so direct in, because we have this route round to the right. I've been KP Pemsu saved, Noxob, VR, and then down in. So, But that gives us a little bit of time for a recap on our approach. So I'm just going to look at this ILS 26 left. So 263 is going to be our course. Uh, what is oh yeah our localizer is going to be 110.7 so 263 or 110.7 so we're back in so let's get those programmed in let's program in 110.7 and 110.7 not six, seven. Okay, we're starting. Oop. What, well, something's going on here? No! Ah, oh, man. I could say some words right now. I could really say some words right now. Damn you, explain. This has been happening more and more recently. I don't know if my PC is getting a bit tired or my install needs cleaning out and starting again. But, ah, damn it. That was going to be a wicked landing. You know that? It's going to be one of my best ever. Welcome back. Um, but this is the continuation of this flight. It's actually about five, six days later. I was in a right grump after my uh, X-plane crashed on me. So I'm trying to recreate the flight. Of course, with uh, real world weather, it means things are a little different. But I'm rapidly just trying to get into the same position roughly I was before. Again, we'll be landing on 26 right. You can just see CYVR is ahead of me. The sun's just going down. We've got Vancouver Island. That's probably Victoria over there. Maybe. Yeah, out on the island there. Yeah, that's uh, CYYJ. We've got uh, Vancouver ahead of me. Okay, flaps back in. So we're just trying, we're now down below 10,000 feet. We're just sneaking under 250 knots here. A little flustered here trying to get me back on track. I've cheated this flight a little. Rushed over to get to the same place from Portland. So we're just coming up to Govav. 
We can see the airport laid out. We can see the North Shore Mountains there. Bit of haze and mist as the sun's going down. Speed's coming down a bit there, so we've got uh, speed breakers out at the moment. Almost to speed. I'll bring that in so we don't need the thrusters. The thrust to come up. I'm gonna get some stuff ready for Lake. Uh, put uh, do you want right auto brakes there? We'll sit on this, and then we'll bring our continue that down. I'm just gonna bring up the charts on my tablet here. I'm afraid you can't see today. I'm juggling enough stuff as it is, I don't think trying to bring charts up while I'm doing this is going to do my chances of X-Plane not crashing any favours. Favours? Favours. Don't know where we can see Vancouver lit up below. Well, this is kind of... Uh, south of that you've got the Torson Ferry Terminal there and then you've got Delta and so on heading up through here. Langley. And the highway heading south in towards um, the US. But we've still got some serious rapid descending to do here. I can see the runways lit up there. We're going to swing to the right here. Towards Pemsu. And then saved Noxob. And then straight in on runway 26 left. What was that dinging at me? Drag required again. Okay. Fair enough. We're getting our speed down. And just fingers crossed, I can actually finish a flight for once. And get more and more crashes on X-Plane. A few Windows updates have gone in. And I swear the ones that were to do with the CPU bug, well, flaw, is in a lot of Intel chipsets. I seem to have noticed a, a change in the behavior since then. Not just here, but on my work machines as well. Big database stuff. Performance degradation slightly, but also quirky behavior and crashes as well. Right, so we're coming around towards Pemsu now. And our target there is to be at 3,000. Interesting. We're going to be tight on this. Just checking. Localizer is 110.7. 110.7. 110.7. And for the eagle eyed amongst you, you might notice my transponder was set to 1200. Yes, we are calling this a VFR flight. Because the next thing I'll discover is that my recording didn't work or you're listening to silence. Drag required. Okay. some flap out just a little bit start helping the drag we'll probably go to two degrees we're going to be getting our gear down before long so we're doing a big curve round basically cutting out saved get to knock sob so we really are just about on final approach here The weather's warmed up somewhat since they started this flight a week ago. Got a five degrees of flap. Because so there's the airport there. Okay, actually I know I need to go to this. I need to select... 153, okay. And we approach speed. And we go again. I'm going to bring out flaps to 15. Hello, Vancouver. Looking very lovely this evening. Is 
the sun just disappears there. Look at that. Beautiful. Round we come. We're at 15 degrees of flap. I'm now going to extend the gear. Now arm the spoilers ready for landing. Okay, I'm going to switch my navs on. There we go. Not quite low enough yet. Give it down to 3,000 feet and I shall switch to approach. We've got 153 on the indicated airspeed is what we're going to set. Uh, we have a landing light on. We are good. We're at 15 degrees of flap right now. I won't quite go full flaps just yet. Oh, that's interesting. I put I thought I put gear down, but I didn't. I hit the G on my keyboard. Oh, maybe it's a bug in the. There's me talking about having my landing gear down. Oh, that would have been good. Three reds. So let's wait for three greens. Just check. That's better. In we come. There we go, we're coming down to 30 degrees of flap. I think we can switch to approach now. The 253 plus 5, yeah, that's alright. I'll take that. Now it's going to swing us over to the right a bit. 2500, okay. Looks like a pretty calm night out there. Just as the sun's disappearing. Nice. Nice calm water as well out there today. So auto throttles are on. We're on the glide slope pretty much. Not quite, but we're getting there. We have enough fuel, our gear is down, we're at flaps 30. Actually that doesn't matter now, what is our missed approach? Oh, Canadian charts are different to US ones, where am I going to find that? I'm assuming it's 3000, da -da 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 -da. time to 3000, okay. We'll put 3000 on there for a missed approach. Our course, which I've forgotten to do, is 263, not 283. Now, part of me thinks we could try for an auto land, but part of me wants to be brave and try and land this beast. Single channel. Let's try and land it, shall we? One thousand. Thousand feet stabilized, Mr. Perch altitude set. Sorry, what did you say? Eight forty. Okay. I'm going to try and fly this in. Not too difficult. We don't really have a lot of crosswind or anything today. Much easier than it was the other day, actually. Okay. Well, saying that, I've allowed myself to nose up a little bit too much there. Yep. We're a little high. We're going to land a little long. We're back on track. 
restraint, bit of deviation there. Oh, a little long. Yep, never mind. Floating. Oh dear. And we're down. Whoa. That's some really noisy sound effects suddenly kicking in there. Whoa, we're way down the wrong way. Oh my goodness. That's some really noisy engines. Okay. We'll take this. A little fast coming off here. We're still doing uh, 41 knots. Whoa. Don't tell anyone. Hold on the grass. There we go. We're down. We've survived. Thank you for flying with me. Sorry the ending kind of didn't match the rest of it. This aircraft is still a blast. I'm afraid my PC isn't. I also have some dubious worries that my graphic card might be on the way out. I'm... If that happens, well, you won't be seeing me making videos for a while because I don't think I can afford another. Ooh, we got some stutters going on here. Price of a 1070 just to get up and flying again. Oh, wow, that would break the bank. Thanks, crypto miners. Although, I hear there's good news on the horizon that that might be a bit of a bust and prices might start coming down. We can only dream. That will really will bugger me up if I have a dig graphics card. I will let you know though. So nothing coming on that runway, and we're going to go and find somewhere to park. So it's a beautiful evening. This pilot will be heading off to the barbecue straight afterwards. A bit of late night partying. Because that's, of course, what real-world jet pilots do. That's what I've heard. Can't see where I want to park. That looks cool. Just there. Let's go and do it, shall we? Oh, God. I'm not in control again. Come on. It's so noisy in here. As soon as you take off, it, the volumes adjust. Maybe I've messed with some settings, or maybe it's just part of the uh, the uh, sound stuff for the beta isn't quite uh, set up correctly yet we reckon we'll fit in there I'm not sure uh, there's one over there let's do that one shall we I mean although there's what looks like a 737 in there I'm not sure we'd fit or is that an Airbus can't tell Airbus I think I can see a gate over there that looks kind of empty. Let's go past the Jazz Airport. So. I always love this when I get on these. You actually can, that's why sometimes you get out and walk across and go, go up the steps. It's kind of cool. Swing it. A bit of breaking that. Bring the nose round. No little man standing out there today. Guess we just got to guess it, have we? And even we come. a little high isn't it I think he was expecting a slightly bigger aircraft there we 
go. Right. Park brake is on. Go switch to the generators and the APU. And then I can cut the power to the engines. There we are, they're dying away. Well, I'm going to tidy up my aircraft and then get out the aircraft and go and do something else. Thank you very much for viewing this video, and I'm sorry that we had that little bit of a disaster in the middle. It was fun, though. And uh, thank you very much for flying with Lamina Flow Airlines, and I hope to see you again soon. If you like the video, leave a comment. Maybe even leave a like. And if you really, really like it, you can always subscribe and you'll see my other videos. So thanks for watching and uh, more from this channel next time.